Oh, there's a ton more hankies. I'm jumping. I'm literally inside the bins right now, you guys, to grab all these hankies. Hey, guys. My name is Missy, and I'm a full-time reseller, a thrifter, a picker, or better yet, a treasure hunter. I love digging and hunting for treasures in the wild, just searching for that perfect piece. You can find me picking garage shells, thrift shops, flea markets, and yes, even some curbs. So come along on this adventure and let's go do some picking. Hey guys, it's Missy with Junk To Be Loved and I am back with another picking video for you guys today. You can see where I'm at. I'm at the Goodwill Bins, yes, for another treasure hunt. I'm so excited. Um, I pulled in, I'm like an hour and a half late. I figured with spring break it was gonna be super busy, but it's not that busy yet. So I'm so excited. I seen carts in there, I think. So let's get in there and see what we can find today. It is absolutely gorgeous outside. I'm wearing a t-shirt and flip-flops because it's so beautiful. I just think it's gonna be a great day. Um, yeah, I'm really excited. So let's go. Okay, he said they just brought out glass like 10 minutes ago. I'm gonna look through it. They're bringing out hard goods right now, but I'm gonna look. Ooh, I like that. You what? Okay, yeah, they're bringing out the hard goods now, but I'm gonna look in the, these. Look at that old clock. It's heavy. It is heavy, heavy, heavy. I'll go to the hard after a bit. It looks busy over there, but since they just brought these out 10 minutes ago, I figured I better look at these before it gets busy in here. Ooh, that's gorge. That's really pretty. I'll stick that in my cart. I like that. Ain't no bowls. Nothing like that. Nothing under there. That's really old, but that's. I don't know. Look at it, it's all cracked. I like this cute, but I think that's gonna stay behind. go. I can hear them all digging over there. <laughs> I don't want to fight the crowd right now. Because I literally just got here. That's big, that's huge, and heavy. Very, 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 very heavy. I know, I keep going back and forth. All right, let's go over to the new hard goods. Okay, everybody's over here. It's busy. Busy, busy, busy. I'm gonna put my cart right here. Grab my perks and start digging. Hi, Todd. How's it going? I 
think these are new. There's a bunch of them in here. They're all new. So, I literally just found this in the new car goods. Look at this cute box. It's metal. And it's got like angel babies all over it. I love it so much. It's got a little bit of wear on the bottom, but it can be cleaned up a little bit. I love it. I love that it still has graphics on it. This is dolphins. really neat. If it's in a box, it's not hoarding. Alright, let's dig in some bands. Look at that. It's somebody made it. It's in horrible shape from being in the bins, but it's cute. Sailboat bookend hard to look when they're real, real full. Okay, over here. Oh, they're taking the picture bins away. I'm gonna bring out new picture bins, it looks like. Look at those. I don't know if hair curlers are worth money still in the package. I know the clips are. I think this says probably made in China. I don't think Alex will want that one. You're all right. These are the characters that Carol likes. I'm gonna stick those in my car for Carol and see if those are the ones that she likes. I don't know if they are or not. Or you can stay here, you can come with, I don't care. It's hard to look in this with the pillows and big old things in there. It's hard to dig. These are cute. They're like rainbow beaded ornaments. Let me see here. <laughs> I don't know if anybody would want them or not, but they're... I like them. They're kind of cool, right? There's a whole bag of them in here. I'll stick them in my cart and we'll think about those. Those are kind of cute. We'll think about them. I just stick stuff in my cart and then at the end I decide what I want to take home with me. Winter is just about over. 
Oh my goodness, it was hard to look in this one. Those are so cool like that. I'll take him. He looks like one of those um, Briar's Choice, or Buyer's Choice, Briar's, Buyer's Choice characters. This is crazy full. Look at this. How am I supposed to look back here? How? It's cute. It needs to be washed. That one's in better condition. This one's all stained up. I think I'm going to get one of them. I, I don't really need both. I don't feel like stain treating it. And, I mean, it's pretty... Pretty rough. Maybe I'll just pick up the pair. Why not, right? Sell them as a pair in a vintage Christmas sale or put them in a treasure bag, a Christmas treasure bag or something. Cute, look what I just found. She's adorable. <laughs> Bless me, I just sneezed. Um, it is a Puffle Up Kim Kids. $19.91 Fisher Price. Cute. She's in pretty good condition. Stick her in the cart. That's kind of a cute shell. Oh, that's adorable. Back here in uh, well, against the back wall all by myself and I'm finding a bunch of vintage scarves. See, they still got their tags made in Italy and stuff like that. So, and I found some hankies and I'm digging and I found more. More hankies. Seeing if I can find, oh, here's another scarf. Line. I think that's a new one. But they don't weigh anything. So I'm going to, I'll look at all of them and fold them all out. And I'm going through my cart to make sure they're not snagged, you know, in, in pretty decent shape. Twinkle toes. Red one. Again, I don't know which ones I'm gonna get. You know, I might put some of them back. There's a hanky, but it's just, oh, there's a ton more hankies. Jumping, I'm literally inside the bins right now, you guys, to grab all these hankies. 
champagne in the bins. This one's just a plain white one. Um, I have quite a bit of plain ones. There's another one. Um, so I think I'm gonna leave the white one. There's another scarf. Back through here again. Oh, here's another hanky. Look at, there's a ton of them in this package. I gotta get get them out of the packages. What's that? Soap. <laughs> lemon, lemon soap in the box. Here's another one. Oh, that's adorable. It's got stuff all over it. That's adorable. I'm going to go ahead and take this white one that I said I was going to leave behind because it's embroidered around the edges and it just bothers me <laughs> leaving it. Oh, here's another scarf. That's a scarf belt or something. I don't know. Something or other. hankies and scarves look at this beautiful scarf that's pretty and then look at this beautiful hanky gorgeous 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 it makes me happy this back scratcher makes a really good reacher That's cute. That'd be cute to like sit a little mermaid in there or something. I'm gonna take it. So it doesn't weigh anything and it doesn't have any chips or cracks but it was in the hard goods. That's amazing. Oh, just about missed another hanky. I'm gonna have to go back through it again to make sure here's more scarves, to make sure I didn't miss anything. I like getting them because they don't hardly weigh anything at all. And there's a, ew, it's an apron, but it is nasty-fied. Ew. Alrighty, they're taking away hard goods. Gonna bring up some new ones. It's time for some new bins to dig in. A ballerina bunny. <laughs> An astronaut dude. He's cute. He's uh Day I can. Cute, cute. Are stickers. It's cute. That is 
adorable. That's old. It's like a hard Japan plushie. It's stinking cute and adorable and weird. I like it. <laughs> Here's another one. There's two of them. And one more. Those are so cute. Somebody made those. how cute this puzzle would have been like I don't know if all the pieces are to it or not they're laying all over the place in here some cute books Care Bears Rainbow Bright I wish the front pages would have been in better shape because these would be really cute for like junk journaling, but they're in really rough shape. That's a good movie. Love it. Totally words to live by. It's important to be kind. Look at those boots. That's a good brand. But they're really, really worn. That's probably why the shoe people left them behind. Come with new bins. Okay, so you guys remember how I found a cat doll not too long ago? Now I found a cow doll. And it's the same brand. It's Wangs 1991. So it's coming home with me. They just brought out soft and I got a vintage quill out of there. It's really cool. It's a polyester one. Kind of like shaggy, you know, like 70s looking. this wooden kitty cat it's it's all scrap like got some scuffies on it like all the paints coming off of it that's a bummer because if that wouldn't have been in such rough shape I would be getting this I just don't think any of you would want it look see like all chipped up. Time for some new hard goods. Hopefully I can find some good, good treasures in these ones. Hopefully we can cross our fingers. <laughs> From a YouTube channel. Here's a uh, new bins coming out. All right, here is what rolled out in front of me. Yay. <laughs> I'm just kidding. There ain't nothing here that I want.
waiting for them to say go. And everybody's gonna dig like a madhouse. I see something over here. I don't want it to get broken. Ooh, okay. can I? I don't want that to get broken. That's pretty cool, huh? I like that. I think it's new. I don't want it. go nuts and reach in front of you and they just don't care. He's cute. He'll go into a treasure bag. all these. They're little wood carved animals here. There's a whole bunch of them. I need to find a little bag. Okay guys, we made it back from the Goodwill bins with one sack of stuff. I filled it up and I ended up spending $32. I got some pretty good things, I think. So let's get right into the haul. Okay, let's get into this $32 haul. The first thing that I got was this really cute, it reminds me of like the Buyer's Choice, or Bri yeah, Buyer's Choice, the Caroler figures type thing. I don't know, he's cool. So he came home with me. Of course, always pick these up, padded envelopes, no brainer. They don't weigh anything, cheaper than buying them at Walmart. I picked up this amazing um, wall pocket planter type thing. You can see it's stamped up there, made in Japan. It's a parrot and it's really old. It's a really cool piece. I did get the cow doll. I sold a cat doll just like this, and this one's a cow doll. It is brand Wangs from 1991. Right there, Wangs International. So the cow doll came home with us. A ton of linens today, you guys. Tons and tons of linens. So this is embroidered, um, or needlepoint, whatever you want to call it. Look at the little girl on the swing with her pigtails and the little doggy, and then the little ducks down there. So cute. So this would be really cute for someone's gallery wall. Tons and tons of scarves. Tons of scarves. Like, there is so many. I'm, I can't even go through them all because there's... There's tons. So many. <laughs> um, I did pick up this girl. She is a Fisher Price 1991 Puffalump Kids. Still has her original tag right there. She's adorable. Really good condition. So she came home with us. More scarves. See, they're really neat. Like. I'm gonna do a scarves lot and tons and tons of hankies as well. So many hankies. And there, some of them are really stinking cute and adorable. More scarves and hankies. That cute little thing. Actually picked up two of them. The other one that did have a spot on it. Some. Vintage pipe cleaners. Let's see. My son, a wallet, because I'm not for sure if he wanted the other one. The other one was more grown up ish. This one I picked up. So if he doesn't want it, I'm just going to get rid of it. More hankies and scarves. I have to go through those. Um, a f is this a pillowcase? 
It is an embroidered pillowcase. Really pretty. A vintage quilt. I will lay this one out so you guys can see what the whole thing of it looks like. It's really cool. 70 style. Oof. And the, I'll lay it out and put the measurements so you guys can see what it looks like. And then this vintage baby blanket quilt. Absolutely love this one so much. It's in really good condition too. And then that, here's the other side. So I really like that one. And again, I'll lay it out and then put the measurements so you guys can see what it looks like. This be really cute framed with all the little wilderness animals. It's embroidered. Cute little leather purse with a beaded girl on there. So I thought that was cute. Another metal sea urchin. I have some up there on my wall, my gallery wall. A glass flower frog. It's so crazy because I've never seen them with the big holes like that. And this is the second one I picked up from the Goodwill bin. So that's pretty cool. Little miniature angel bell, Mark Japan. This little kitty cat will go into a tre oh, treasure bag, maybe, <laughs> if things make it until then. Um, this will go into a treasure bag. It's a little German clown. He's cute. A little, um, he's got cobwebs on his foot now from being in that cup, but he's a little felt, um, Oh, Christmas pixie thing. The tiniest little metal flower frog I've ever seen. It's a tiny little mini. A little miniature bunny. A little miniature troll. And a Christmas tree brooch pen. And then... This is absolutely awesome. See, it's metal. It's all leather. And it's old. It's very old. I need to take this. Hold on, let me. There we go. Isn't that cool? Really old. I like finding stuff like that in the bins. And then the mug, the Santa mug. He does have some cold paint loss on him, but he's adorable. No chips or cracks on this guy, so. More treasure bag items. This little shoe. Little miniature oil can. This little, um... Made in Japan, dude. Royal Crown Child Life. He's marked on the bottom. He's cute. He's got his little finger pointing. Little pin cushion. Little Oscar Mayer wiener whistle. And a little ceramic squirrel. This old, old metal uh, box. Look at it. Look at the graphics on there. So stinking cute with the dragon dolphin type things and the little boy. And all the way around it, it's got really neat scene. Isn't that cool? I like that. I just think that's so neat. So that metal box. 
three of these hard Japan plushy type things. They're weird looking, but they're cool and they're hard. You know, they're the hard plushies. A little Cabbage Patch Girl for a treasure bag. A little Pepsi Cola bottle opener for a treasure bag. And then the last thing is this little box full of little miniatures. They're little angels and I think they plug into your tree or something and maybe light up. I don't know. There's a there's a box of them in here, so I'm going to have to go through that. And yeah, they're attached. They're cute. I don't know. Maybe they're Department 56. I don't know. But that is my haul, guys. That's it. I got all that for um, only $32. I think I did quite well with all the linens and scarves and hankies and stuff. So what do you guys think? Comment below and let me know what your favorite thing was that I found this time out of the Goodwill bins. And as always, if there's anything that you guys are ever interested in, you can always send me an email. My email is junktobeloved at gmail.com. All lowercase letters, no spaces. The link is in the description below as well too. And I can let you know if I will sell it outright or if it will be available in a live sale. Most everything you see me pick up will be available in my live sales, which I host right here on my YouTube channel every Sunday evening at 6 p.m. PM Central Time. So if you go subscribe right now and hit that bell button, you'll get a notification every time I go live and when I post new videos. This week I will be going having my big um, 10,000 subscriber party. So my live sale will be Saturday um, at 4 p.m. Central Time. So um, go subscribe right now so you'll get notified. It's going to be a lot of fun. I'm going to do a bunch of giveaways and stuff. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. As always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And and until next time, keep smiling and happy picking. Bye, guys.